Hey guys, in this video, um, I want to talk to those of you who are going to be retaking or planning to take the, the test on June 1st, the AP Calculus exam. And, you know, if you if you have to retake it, I'm so sorry uh, if there was a glitch in the system. Um, I mean, one of the good things about retaking it, if you already did it, is you kind of know the layout. Okay, we can't get into specifics, but you know, you know the layout of the exam. Um, you've had experience with that. But now, again, of course, it's stressful enough that you have to redo it again, and you're probably angry and upset. But remember, the, keep the goal in mind, okay? The goal in mind is about you, your future, your family, okay? We can't control things out of our, our domain. All right, for those of you that are just kind of new to, um, to, to, uh, to, to the site, to my page, um, you know, welcome. And I just kind of want to give you a layout. I want to do the, the best that I can to help you prepare, okay? Um, now, this is going to piggyback on my other videos that I have for you guys, okay? Now, for June 1st, all right, there's basically five types of FRQs that you're going to get, okay? And I put them in order of importance, okay? Rate accumulation, every year you always get one of those, okay? You also get graph analysis, Okay, every single year you always get these guys. Okay, you always. Um, particle motion, I mean, that's also in there every single year. That's why they're my top three. Okay, and then differential equation, that's kind of every other, but that one's also common. And then the area and volume. Now, remember, area and volume is not going to be on it this year. Okay, but all these here are fair game. Now, it's the makeup for June 1st. I don't know how they're going to do it, and we just don't know. But we do know some things. I mean, we do know um, that when you do rate accumulation, there's certain type of questions they ask. Same thing with graph analysis. Same thing with particle motion. So what you guys have to do is you have to pinpoint work smarter, not harder, Okay. So that's why I developed my videos there. I put FRQs on rate accumulation. Look at those. Okay, day one, just one day, just you look at all those. And you got to get an idea of how, what they're asking you. They ask the same type of questions every single time, guys. And then number two, graph analysis. Okay. I mean, uh, this they give these two every single year. And if they only give two questions for this year, I mean, I would think it would be something like this. Um, I don't know. I really, really don't know. Particle motions, I've seen that every year. So that's why I did a FRQ videos on just on just these. Okay. And then of course the differential equations. Now, this year's layout was interesting. Um, normally I think they have like four parts. This year it, it seems like they had like nine parts. And it's kind of interesting because the way they do the FRQs, right? There's six questions, and normally each of them are worth nine points each. And I'm hearing that. The, there's nine questions in, in, in or nine little parts in the FRQ. So that kind of tells me, you know what, there's probably one point per section. Really, I don't know. The focus, though, is for me to understand, okay, if they, to be able to recognize, if it's a rate accumulation, okay, boom, I got to go ahead and see what am I going to look for, all right? Graph analysis, study all those FRQs. What are they asking for? They ask the same thing. Particle motion. Same type of thing, guys. Some questions are just fundamental, okay? Uh, so I encourage you, go back, study these, and that way you can get an idea, okay, of what to look for, what to, what to, what to see. Now, these are just little side notes here. When you get your little, um, when you're getting ready, get, you know, one, two, three, four. Have your little stack of notes, because you can use notes for this year's exam, you know, one little stack note for rate accumulation, another one for graph analysis, and so forth, okay? Now, remember, this guy, this guy's not going to be on the on the test. Discipline. And if, you're gonna, if, you're gonna, if you don't discipline yourself, guys, to, to study, it's going to be very, very difficult. I can lead you and guide you and kind of just fine-tune what you know, but it, it's all about you. Um, you know, other students that were sending me messages about, thank you so much for this and that and the other, you, you, you know, it helped out, which I'm glad. But you know what? If if they don't put the time and the effort, you know, no matter what I do, it wouldn't it wouldn't suffice to anything. So guys, just kind of focus yourself, discipline, and you can do this. And the last thing you got to make sure and do, guys, um, because what's going to happen, right? The timer hits. You see that question, 
and you're going to get nervous, you're a little bit of anxiety, right? Test anxiety. We all have that. Focus on the process, not the results. Okay. And what that means is, you know, you're going to see a question. First thing is recognize the question. Is it a, is it a graph analysis, rate accumulation, particle motion? Once you understand that, then you can go ahead and uh, see, okay, this is what they're going to ask for. This is what they're looking for. Okay. Now, you may not, you may freak out, right? You see all these parts. Oh my goodness. And then what happens? And you start going down a, a, a whirlwind tunnel and, and you get lost. You don't want to do that. Just focus, just, okay, part A. Part A, the first part, just the easiest part. Okay. It might get a little bit challenging afterwards, but just one step at a time. What are they asking for? Okay this and this okay talk yourself through it okay they're asking me if it when does a graph increase and concave down increasing first derivative concavity second derivative you just walk yourself through it and i'm telling you if you guys go back and look at these um videos okay for each frq it'll help you out all right and that's what you want to do don't look don't look at the whole thing oh my goodness so much stuff i can't do that. no no don't do that focus one step at a time don't worry about the result. Oh, I have to get this. I have to. No, don't do that. You're going to mess yourself up. You focus on the technique, the process of doing the question, and then that's what you do. If you do, if you work, focus on that, answering the question completely each section, it's going to add up. It's going to add up. And you won't have to worry about, you won't have to worry about, oh, the result. The results will take care of themselves. What you have to focus on is number one, making sure you recognize each FRQ. And number two, if you know what type of FRQ it is, then t fine tuning and pinpointing what they're asking for. And then just go from there and just answering the question to the best of your ability. Okay. So, um, and just let me know guys, and I'm going to try to do the best thing to do, you know, help you guys out. Cause this is for you, you know, it was for my students and I just thought, you know what, let me just try to see if I can help anybody out. And the, the videos uh, were a success. I helped a lot of people. I'm so glad. I know the anxiety. I've been there. You guys are going to college, this COVID thing. And it's just, I just want to do whatever I can to help you guys out. All right, guys. And so just let me know and I'll try to do the best that I can. All right, guys. Good luck to you. Talk to you guys later.